Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, thanks for watching and tuning into this video. We're continuing on with central and inscribed angles of a circle. Now this is gonna be problem set three, and we're gonna throw a little algebra at you before we have a self quiz on the next video. Now just a reminder here, in case you're sort of jumping into the middle of this video series, this in red is a central angle, and if I measure it as 40 degrees, it creates a 40 degree arc right there. Okay, the central angle matches the measure of the arc. Now if we pin down those endpoints right there and there, keep the same arc, but we remove this pin and stretch it back and pin it to some other point on the circle, now we have an inscribed angle. Notice how it's half as much. So 20 degrees there, 40 degrees there. Now any inscribed angle using those same endpoints and the same arc right there will be 20 degrees, whether it's there, or there or there. So inscribed angles are half as much as the central angle for the same arc. Alright, very simple concept but just think of it as a rubber band stretching back. Okay? Now let's look at two problems we're going to add some algebra equations with it. In number 11 we want you to solve for x and it's a little unclear in the diagram but let me help you out. It's 12x minus 3 is the measure of this angle right here and this arc CB is 90 from C to B so we're um, looking at the diagram figuring it out and solving for X in number 12 obviously you want to know what X is if this arc from R to Q is 7x plus 4 and this angle right here is 60 degrees alright pause the video try it good luck All right, number 11, the answer is 4, and let me explain how to get that in case you got stuck. All right, we're looking for this angle here in C, which is an inscribed angle here for arc BA. Now, as you look, you notice that from C to B, that's already measured as 90 degrees, but we also have from B to A. Now, that whole thing, of course, is a semicircle arc. All right, so... We've got a diameter right here. We know it goes right through the middle of the circle. So both arcs together must be 180 degrees. If that's 90, this has to be 90. And what do you know about a 90 degree arc for its inscribed angle? Ah, this must be 45 degrees, half as much, right? Well, there's our equation. We know that 12x minus three has to be equal to 45 degrees and now let's just solve that equation and just take a couple steps. We're going to add 3 to each side. And I bet you could do some of this in your head here. Notice those cancel out. So 12x equals 48. And then, of course, we need to divide by 12 on both sides. And there we go with our answer of 4. All right. So not too bad, not too bad. Now, in number 12, Notice that this is a 60 degree angle here. That is an inscribed angle right there for this arc, isn't it? For arc RS. All right, so we know that if this is 60 degrees, that arc must be how much? Double that, 120. All right, and again, notice that it's a diameter going across, so both arcs together must be 180 degrees, right? So we've got 7x plus 4 plus 120, which of course would be equal to 180. And yeah, there's probably some shortcuts here. We could figure out, you know, the difference here would be 60. We could have said 7x plus 4 equals 60. But to kind of go with what we have here so far, let's go ahead and subtract 120 on both sides. And let me finish it up. Subtract 4 from each side. That will be 7x equals 56. And yes, we divide both sides by 7 to get our answer of 8. All right, I hope you did fine. 
All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.